Grade 4 Math, number 86, Equivalent Fractions and Decimals. We've talked a little bit about this in the last couple videos, but I'm going to go over this with you more thoroughly now. To remind you, a decimal point is a dot symbol used to separate dollars from cents in money amounts and to separate the ones place value from the tenths place value of a decimal. Where this is three dollars and twenty cents, we know that that's 20 parts of a dollar, which is 100 cents. It's 20 parts of 100. The decimal point is this dot right here, or right there. This is whole numbers. It's the ones place. And to the right of the decimal point is the tenths place. Okay? So a decimal is a number that is to the right of the decimal point. It's to the right. It's that way of the decimal point, okay? So, if we have a flat of 100, each tiny little square in it, see all these tiny little squares? Each tiny little square would be one one-hundredth of the flat. One tiny little square, like that, would be one one-hundredth of this entire flat of 100, okay? If we draw lines coming down, and divide it into bars of 10, you know, like a bar of 10 coming straight down like that. See? Each new bar would be equal to one-tenth of the whole flat, because there's 10 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So instead of 100 tiny little squares, we can say, mm, we're going to ignore this, the lines going horizontally, and we're just going to look at the vertical lines and say that now it's split into tens, okay? So, because it's split into ten bars, each new bar is equal to one-tenth of the whole flat, okay? Ten of the tiny squares that are in here are equal to ten out of a hundred, ten one-hundredths. One of the long bars is also equal to 10 one-hundredths because it's got 10 tiny little squares in it still. See? The flat is either 10 bars or 100 tiny squares depending on which lines we are using to divide it up. It could be a bar or we could just say that there's 100 squares. See? It could be one-tenth or it could be 10 one-hundredths. See? So look at this one here. There's 70 squares filled in out of the 100. 70 orange tiny squares in, is the same as seven long bars. See? One long bar, two, three, four, five, six, seven long bars. 70 of the 100 is 70 one hundredths. Seven of the 10 is 7 tenths. Each bar has 10 tiny little squares in it, so 7 times 10 is 70. See that? 70 one-hundredths can be equal to 7 tenths. By removing the n zeros from the 70 and the 100, we can see it's 7 tenths. See? Look at that. 7 tenths, 70 one-hundredths. 7 tenths, 70 one-hundredths. Okay? Ten one hundredths is really one tenth and zero hundredths. The zero is just a placeholder, see? Seventy one hundredths is seven tenths and zero hundredths. If we divide the seventy and the one hundred by ten, we can see how we got to seven tenths. See? If we divide the numerator and the denominator by ten, we can remove those zeros. See? They're just placeholders. All right, so now let's look at this chart. Here's the tens place value, the ones place value, all our decimal points, the tenths place value, and the hundredths place value. We have 70 hundredths, but we could also say it's just 7 tenths, right? Because there's a zero there. All right? 4 tenths or 40 hundredths one-tenth or ten-hundredths, six-tenths or sixty-hundredths, 
To write 4 tenths as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100? We multiply. We think, okay, if we don't know what's there, 10 times what is equal to 100? 10 times 10. Well, the numerator gets jealous and it wants to be multiplied by 10 also. So we do. 4 times 10 is 40. Okay, so now look at this. To write 60 one hundredths as an equivalent decimal to 6 tenths, we remove the zero by dividing by 10. If we didn't know that was there, and we said we want this hundredths denominator to be tenths, 100 should be divided by what to become 10? It should be divided by 10. And the numerator is jealous. It wants to be divided by the same number. So we do, and 60 becomes 6. All right? So to make equivalent fractions, we can multiply or divide. But remember, 6 tenths is bigger than 6 one hundredths. Even though that has 100 there, it's actually much smaller because 6 tenths is equal to 60 one hundredths. See, when you add the zeros on the end. So here, look. Here's 6 tenths, okay? Here's 60 one hundredths. And there's six one hundredths. See how little and tiny six of the one hundred are? Where sixty of them, or six tenths, is much bigger. Okay? So in fractions, the smaller the denominator, the bigger the number. Isn't that weird? One over two is half of something. Would you rather have half of something or a hundredth of something? If you had a hundredth of something, you just have one tiny little hundred piece like that. See? So just remember, the smaller the denominator, the bigger the fraction. We're going to keep talking about fractions, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!